the Caves and Cliffs update has been announced, and it's only a matter of time before we get a snapshot and can explore those new areas. But while we wait, let's take a look at 20 types of caves that should be in the new Minecraft 1.17 update. Number 1. Hush Caves You've seen the Lush Caves showcased in this year's Minecraft Live event, but have you heard of the Hush Caves? Maybe not, because they're a very quiet place. Hush Caves would be like regular caverns, but down near bedrock, in a biome where lava doesn't spawn and water doesn't run. These silent, dry caves would be a great addition to the deep, dark, teased in Minecraft Live, as those areas are based on sound, with blocks such as the Skulk. The Hush Caves would work in a similar way, Mining any blocks, opening chests, or really making any noise will cause more mobs to spawn around you. You better get running, sub, but quietly. Number 2. Toxic Caverns some places deep underground are pretty crazy. Toxic and poisonous gases can swell and gather up in locked away spaces for years until released or stumbled upon. Considering Minecraft already has both poison and nausea effects, why not have them applied if a player walks too far into one of these places? The blocks surrounding toxic caverns could have some strange glow or texture on them. Maybe the air could even start to wobble like it does in a heat wave. One thing is for sure though, your vision will start getting hazy if you're in there too long. Hey, if you by chance consider delving below this video to hit that almighty subscribe button, it helps a huge lot and would really mean a lot if you can consider joining our channel filled with awesome Minecraft players. Number 3. Magma Caves Parts of the Earth can be heated up by areas further below. Lava fills the bottom layer of Minecraft, so it would make sense that some caverns are filled with a little bit more heat. Temperature effects are shown in the surface biomes with snow and deserts, so having a cave with hot magma walls that make you watch your step could be pretty cool. Hot flowing magma would also cause a little more damage than regular lava, making it a very dangerous zone. What sort of loot do you think you find in a place like this? Yes. Number 4. Ice Caverns Likewise, the opposite of the temperature scale would be a great setting for caves of different types. Imagine instead of using stalagmites and stalactites, giant hanging icicles, frozen underground lakes, and icebergs. While it's pretty chilly and pretty slippery, having ice caverns would make the underground areas of the snow biomes feel a little bit more natural. It also helps you recognize the climate of the biome above you when mining. Number 5. Neon Caves on the more unusual side of things, the Glow Squid won this year's mob vote, and so will be added into the cave. It sure would be awesome to see one swimming as you're on your mining adventures, right, Sub? Well, imagine a cave that went along with the mob. Neon caves would have a dark stone texture, but that would allow all the luminescent plants to glow that much brighter. Number 6. Mushroom Caves Oh, look, Sub, a cave full of giant mushrooms. I mean, that makes sense, right? Since all the way back in the early days of Minecraft, mushrooms have grown inside caves, so why not add an entire cavern full of them? There's a lot of mushrooms here, but I bet we can get more likes on this video than there are mushrooms by at least 10 times. That's my challenge for you guys at home. Number 7. Lost City Ravines Regular ravines are awesome, but imagine stumbling across one that had ancient ruins built into them, with bridges crossing between broken buildings and destroyed structures. I'm sure plenty of lore and loot could be found here. Number 8. Shrine Caves Sometimes mysterious things can be found underground that date way back to the old times. Weird artifacts and even shrines built by long forgotten cults. Maybe a cave featuring one of these would be enough to inspire the fear of Herobrine once again. Number 9. Narrow Joints Caves need to be connected in some way, and in real life, smaller and more narrow passageways provide this connection. Although it forces miners and cave explorers to crawl and even trudge through water to leave larger areas. Number 10. Fragile Caves 
We all hate gravel falling onto our head at random moments. So what if instead we could discover a cave where it spawns? This place would have gravel held up by a thin layer of stone, or be floating as it does in the current version. Hitting one part, however, may be enough to bring the entire cave branch down. Number 11. Jungle Caverns Ever seen Journey to the Center of the Earth sub? Well, if you have, you know that people used to think that ancient jungles and even entire worlds existed below our feet. It would be cool if Minecraft added jungles underground, overgrown, and perhaps even including some strange mobs. Hopefully no dinosaurs, though. Number 12. Crystal Coves there have to be some areas that don't kill you, right, Sub? Luckily, you've stumbled across what could be the best generation in the game, although you'd be lucky to find it, a dead-end cave filled with large pockets of all the most valuable minerals. Dig in! What do you think the odds of finding a crystal cove will be? And which cave has been your favorite so far? Comment now! Then again at the end if you see your decision has changed. Number 13. Volcanic Ash Tunnels Deep volcanic activity takes place all across the world in real life, but incredibly far down. Minecraft could reflect this by adding a few volcanic pits and tunnels that are filled with soot and dark black ash. Unable to see very well in these tunnels, the limited visibility would also allow for mobs to spawn, and torches placed in these caves would have little to no effect. Number 14 booby-trapped mines. Not every tunnel and cave is natural, and we've seen man-made structures previously in the game. So a strangely shaped area of the cave with a few trip wires, levers, and pressure plates should catch your attention. But not for the right reason. These caves would be deadly. Number 15. Hot Water Springs. You've taken a lot of hits today, sir. But you can chill out, or should I say, warm up in these volcanically heated water springs. Perhaps the water can even provide a healing effect. Number 16. Bat Caves. Just a scenic suggestion, but also because I'm a big fan of Batman. Caves with small pools of water that naturally spawn lots and lots of bats that all fly out when you break in. Number 17. Silverfish Crevices after all, I think they need a little more use outside of the stronghold. These caves would be infested with silverfish blocks. Number 18. Spider Pits They are what they are. Arachnid infested drops with web strings. And a dark pit at the bottom with a spawner. Ugh. Not something you want to get trapped in, Sub, I'm sure. Number 19. Waterfall Holes Similar to large sinkholes, these vertical caves will spawn and travel deep into the underground, generating at the end of rivers. Water will cascade off the edge, creating a natural and beautiful effect. Number 20. Whisper Caves we started with some horror-related caves, so let's end with one. I'm sure you're loving the sound of this already, Sub. Well, say no more, literally, because we have to start whispering in these caves. Whisper caves are said to be haunted by lost souls, driven mad by their inescapable prisons. And occasionally, when you're wandering around, you may be able to hear them. Echoes in the wall. Stay too long, and it could start to drive you insane. And there we go, Sub. 20 caves that would be truly awesome in their own right within the 1.17 Caves and Clips update. But imagine if 10 or even all 20 of these were added over time. That would make for one truly action-packed and awesome mining trip, that's for sure. While it still remains to be seen what exactly will be included in the final 1.17 update, I know that we'll be waiting with eager eyes for the first snapshot shot. Isn't that right, Sub? Well, until then, let's keep speculating. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.